Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have another humble bundle of interest to game developers. This one is the Land Your Dream Job, the complete Unreal and Unity Developers Guide bundle. It's got a stupid name, it doesn't look very good, uh, it's confusing, why would you make a bundle for both Unity and Unreal Engine? Generally you'd find people are interested in one but not the other, and drum roll please. It's really quite good. Uh, it's actually something that a lot of you have been looking for for a very long time. It's a tutorial series where a lot of the content is actually more advanced. And that's not something that we see very often in these bundles. Now, I spent a couple hours with it last night for a few reasons. First off, these confuse the hell out of me. These intermediate Unity interview questions, the complete interview questions bundle, then we've got advanced Unity, advanced Unreal interview questions. What what are these? And it's not really what you... like. They look like, you know courseware preparation type courses, and they're not really that. They're just sort of like, um, uh, they're still hard to explain. I'll actually show you one in the kind of content within them, but they're sort of like, a, here are topics you should know at this level if you are going to go for a job, and here's how you work with those things. They actually ended up being quite good. Uh, now again, when I looked at this last night, I looked only at the Unity content. Most of it was created by one fellow, and that guy seems to know his stuff. He taught it well, and I actually will go back and run through some of these courses at my own pace, because a lot of times when I cover these courses on um you know, game from scratch when I find these humble bundles training stuff. Most of the time it's very beginner focused and I honestly wouldn't get much out of it. This one, again, we have some higher level stuff here. So again, if you don't know how humble bundle works, it's an organized collection of stuff, in this case, courses from Mammoth Interactive, organized into tiers. You buy a higher dollar tier, you get all the tiers below it. You decide how your money is allocated between humble charity, the publisher, and if you so choose, and thank you so much if you do, game from scratch. And I'm not going to go through all of the items here. There's 43 items in this bundle. Uh, one of the nice things about it is, Again, it's Unreal and Unity. Mammoth Interactive would have been better off making one of these for Unreal and one of these for Unity, but they clumped both together. But when you're talking 40 plus items here uh, for uh, $30 USD, think of it as a BOGO. You get buy one, you get one free. So if you ever want to switch engines later on, it's fine. But if you want to come at this, if you're an Unreal Engine developer looking for some training, there's enough value here to justify it. If you're a Unity developer looking for training, there is enough value here to justify it. But generally, the, the Venn diagram of people looking for Unreal and Unity training normally isn't that big. So it's a very confusing bundle from a naming, branding, and structural point of view. But like I said, the courses themselves are actually quite good. Uh, $1 tier here, you're getting uh, these two courses, which is the Unreal uh, beginner and intermediate level stuff. So if you're just an Unreal Engine developer, hey, maybe that's a good place to get your feet wet. Your average price tier, which strangely is actually in the middle, that's almost never the case these days. So for about 14 bucks USD, uh, you're getting a variety of courses here. And then of course, for the uh, $30 USD, my God, what happened to the Canadian dollar? For $30, $30 USD, you're getting uh, 43 courses in total. Now, the big thing that I want to point out here, I'll show you again how one of these uh, interview sections look, uh, but you're also getting courses on, again, a number of ones on doing uh, Unreal Engine, a specific game style. I didn't go through the Unreal courses myself, so I don't know how good they are, but you got some interesting things here for a building... Um, Enemy spawning, combat special effects, game move. Oh, sorry, that was uh, Unity. Uh, but you've got just a, a decent broad number of courses here. But where they really impressed me here, so build an RPG in Unreal Engine. But what you normally don't see, uh, client server comps in Unreal Engine. That's a little bit more on the intermediate side. Multiplayer development in Unreal Engine. Uh, collectibles and cameras in Unreal Engine. Sure, build multiplayer chat in Unreal Engine. Again, this isn't stuff that you normally see at the very basic beginner level. And when it comes to the uh, Unity side of things, again, you do have some stuff here for a beginner to get up and start. You got beginner level quality uh, questions. You've got things like C sharp programming for absolute beginners, or build a 2D space game in Unity. Uh, Unity game dev for beginners and all ages. Okay, so you definitely have some beginner oriented stuff here, but then you've got some things that really shine here. So you've got things like optimization. Uh, let's go here. C sharp code optimization in Unity games, advanced Unity game optimization, light optimization in Unity games, Unity UI optimization in 2D games. Uh, and then you've got things for dots in ECS. So dots in ECS generally aren't really that well documented. Uh, so having these different uh, ECS specific tutorials out there are definitely useful. So again, the, the swath of topics covered here is quite nice. And again, you've got a lot more intermediate level content than you, you almost never see. And then advanced level content just doesn't lend itself to these kind of tutorials because the audience is so small for it. But this is a refreshing bundle on the level that, again, you don't normally see that much of the intermediate level content. And I jumped into mostly the Unity stuff uh, last night. So I spent a couple of hours for some of these courses. And the highest recommendation I can give is 
me at my level, I'm actually going to go back and go through some of these courses. And I cover a lot of these bundles on Humble, and I don't normally go back to them because a lot of the times they're aimed at beginners and I won't get anything out of them. From my brief experience with the Unity stuff here, there's some stuff I can learn from this. And, and I don't say that very, very often. So I'm going to definitely go back and check some of these out. So here we are on the uh, website. They actually use Teachable. It's a very solid learning platform. No complaints there. Uh, you can access your courses once you've redeemed via this handy access my courses bundle. You're going to see more than what's in this bundle because we've had previous bundles here. So I've got a decent number of courses on my uh, account. Although you are going to have 43 courses if you go for the top tier here. I'm going to start off with one of those uh, questions one because they were probably the most confusing. So let's do let's search for one of the advanced courses here. So just filter down by advanced. And let's head on down here and let's find uh, the advanced Unity questions. So again, I spent most of my time with the Unity stuff. Gives you an idea of what this is all about. Now, the way the best they describe these, these aren't really uh, training you for a specific course like you, you know, learning your MSAT 101 kind of thing. Instead, we can think of these like as digital versions of those cookbook books. So if you've done, uh, you know, uh, the Godot developer cookbook or the Unity developer cookbook, etc., where it's kind of like recipes and here's how you do it. That's the way you can look at these interview question things. Uh, the organization can be a little bit better for jumping between question and answer, but, th but this will give you an idea of the questions that they're going to deal with here. So what you're seeing right here, this is the advanced Unity stuff. Uh, for some reason, I cannot full screen it, uh, but you get an idea of the kind of things that you're going to be dealing with and then getting how to actually do these things. So... Um, should we reduce the vertex count of 3D models? How to compress sounds? Should we use compressed things? How to get transparency? What is transparency sorting? What is a graphics rendering pipeline? How does it work in Unity? What is culling used in rendering? What are the object transformations? What are forward and deferred rendering pipelines? Describe these. Vertex shader, geometry shader, fragment shader, right and unlit shader, and so on and so forth. And we saw some of them at the beginning here. So we've got things like uh, bitwise operation, bitwise mass. How can bitwise mass help save space? What are bitwise shift operators? What is floating point precision? How does it affect 3D environment? What are lambdas and how can be used in Unity scripts? Why using lambdas in a for loop might cause bugs? What are the extension methods? And so on and so forth. So you get an idea of, you know, it, it's not like uber advanced stuff, but it's not normally stuff you see in tutorial level things. Now, I do find a little bit of irony here in may cause bugs when there's a foo loop. <laughs> uh, but anyways, you get an idea of what they're about. And then each one of these, in turn, each video is, again, this is about an hour of topic. This is about an hour again, about an hour again here. So you're getting three hours of overview of all of those various different uh, topics. Now, I do wish it did have a Unity style jump points so you could see exactly where each particular um, question was answered, but you can see how those question and answer things work. And they're not really, again, like question and answers. They're more like cookbook, the cookbook style approach. So if you like the cookbook thing, you're going to appreciate those. Now, one thing I don't like is there's no quick navigation back to my home. So what I got to do is click here, the home button, like so. And then I got to click the mammoth, like so. And then I got to go back to my courses. It's, it's a little clunky. It's, it's a mild thing. You're not going to be switching between courses a whole lot. It does remember where you were at, by the way, and you can come back to it. So you get an idea of what's going on there. Now, another thing that I really like with this is that it's got, again, those topics that you don't normally see covered that often. And we do have some ECS stuff in here, for example. There's not a ton of ECS programs out there. Uh, but I find probably the area that you see a lot less about is optimization or Optim, if you're lazy. Uh, so you see here, you're looking for topics on how to do optimization or code optimization and so on. Let's jump into the code optimization and see what kind of stuff they're covered. And now one thing that you will find, and this is a very confusing with the way they set things up, is they, they've approached it so that here are the previous courses you need to do in order to understand what's in this course. So it's gonna look like this is part of the course, but this is just the beginner course, which you are getting, but it's gonna assume that you know everything from this course before jumping into this one. By the way, you can just minimize that. And then what you're really looking for is curriculum. So this is the actual course itself right here. And then you see in the optimization course here, you're getting things like object pooling scripts and colliders, collecting the scripts together, delaying code via coroutines, um, singleton. Again, we gotta, we gotta kind of cut down on some of the spell checks here. Uh, singleton components, order of execution, lecture summary. So you gotta get the kind of topics that you're gonna go through. Now, these are a little bit shorter than the Q&A style formats. The other nice thing is generally, you also get the uh, project files here. So if you wanna follow along, you'll find if you do a longer course that's actually Actually iterative, you'll get you know the part one, the part two, the part three, the part four. So you can jump in at whatever point and use the project file they have. But there's also things in here again, like using the profiler and that. Now, where I didn't really jump into too much in my own hands-on experience uh, is the Unreal Engine stuff. So Unreal, again, you, you, you there's a very consistent teachers across the board. Um, so this stuff was mostly done by 
uh, which ones did I see for this particular course? Uh, here, Juarez. Uh, he did a lot of these other courses you see. I didn't get into the Unreal Engine, that stuff all of that much. Uh, but here you can see, again, equip and unequip weapon, attack combinations, and so on. And again, you're getting these source files that are in there. Uh, this tr walks you through, in this particular case, they're using uh, blueprints, bl bl blueprints, I uh, wish I could speak, um, blueprints for the logic control. But it's walking you through the process of what it's talking about. Now, I did find that the uh, Unreal Engine side of the equation is much more, uh, here's how you do X, here's how you do Y. So, you know, making a character, making that character attack, giving them inventory, that kind of approach, uh, making an RPG, etc. Whereas the Unity stuff was a bit more like how to optimize your game, how to write code, and so on. So it's a slightly different approach. Uh, and it's it's interesting with this bundle that they did do these two very different engines, grouped them together in the same bundle, because you're only going to be interested in one or the other generally. Uh, but the quality of content I saw was quite good. Like I said, I'm actually going to go back and run through a couple of these courses, see what I can pick up from them. And that's not something I can normally say or recommend when I see these kind of bundles. So that is it, ladies and gentlemen, a bundle with very bad name, at least in my humble opinion. Let me know what you think of the name and the branding, etc. Uh, a very weird decide decision to glump clump two competing game engines together and some very oddly brand. Again, if this was more like if they branded this as how to or cookbook or whatever i think people would realize that these are much more interesting to them than they because at this point this intermediate interview questions it's like why do i want to read a bunch of questions but it more it's more like a a how to or a cookbook approach and it makes these videos here and if you're wondering are they of any use to you well if that cookbook style approach sounds good to you yes now i do again wish that the user interface had a bit better of a here's the question snap here's the answer and instead, it's a bit of more of a process of, okay, here are all the questions, and then you go to that particular video that will have the answer you want for it, and you have to seek to it. That it could definitely be worked on. But the content itself, and that's probably the most important part when it comes to tutorials, at least with my brief, again, just a couple of hours on it and just the Unity side of things, it was good. It was actually, I was learning stuff. I found it at a sophisticated enough level that I found it useful. And do keep in mind, they also have the beginner level stuff in here. So they, it ideally should be a pretty good on runway. So again, if you've never took C Sharp code here, there is a beginner thing for C Sharp. Uh, and then you got some beginner project type things uh, and introductions that should get you up to going. And the same is true here. They've got Unreal Engine introductions as well. So it's not just that intermediate level stuff, but it's refreshing to see intermediate level content in a humble bundle for tutorials, even if it has bad branding. All right, let me know what you think. Comments down below. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.